Is uploading files via SFTP making you want to send out an SOS? Does the thought of making changes on live give you the hives? Well, if either of those are true, you're in luck. I'm Taryn Almendarez, I'm a developer advocate with Pantheon, and I'm here to talk to you today about how you can use local development environment tools to improve your development workflow. In this video, we'll discuss why you and your team should consider using a local development environment solution, and we'll also be discussing the requirements for two Pantheon-compatible local development environment tools called Lando and DDEV. Local development environments allow you to replicate live server stacks offline on your local machine. This is great for working on complex dynamic site experiences like those served up by Drupal and WordPress. With their pre-configured scripting for different CMSs and hosting providers like Pantheon, local development environments will reduce your overhead and overall time to project start. Onboarding new and novice teammates to a project has never been easier. This was actually my introduction to Lando. As a junior developer, I needed to be brought on for some tasks on a project, but as a junior developer, I wasn't quite at the experience level where I would be able to set up my own scripting for the different environments and things of that nature that were needed. While the junior developer on your team might not quite be at a skill level where they can set up their own environment and figure out the scripting by themselves, and your senior architect might not have the time to be able to individually walk them through the setup, local development environments can solve this issue. With local development environment tools, you can set up these configs in a file that can then be uploaded to your GitHub repo for your project. The developer will then install Lando or DDEV, and they'll be able to get started with their assigned tasks. No fussing around with scripting. Pretty convenient. One of the best things about any local development environment tool is when it works with the hosting platform that you'll be using with your team. Thankfully, Lando and DDEV both meet this requirement. They both have very robust Pantheon integrations. They even have integrations that work with specialized commands for Drupal and WordPress. For Lando and DDEV, the local development environments we'll be going over in our series, you'll be able to integrate directly with your Pantheon website. All you need is to make sure that you have at least one backup on your Pantheon site. That does mean that you have to have your Pantheon site created first and you'll need your machine keys, but we'll go through all the details of setup in our next videos. Really great and loved by a lot of our development community is the fact that you can use Terminus in the command line. This will enable you to do everything in a terminal that you can do on the Pantheon UI and a lot more extra features. So I've told you some pretty great points about different local development tools why you and your team would use them, and how they can be used on the Pantheon platform, let's discuss what the requirements are for each tool. Lando can be used on a number of operating systems. This includes OS X, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Keep in mind that for OS X, you'll need to be running Mac OS 10.13 or later, and for Windows, you must be running Windows 10 Pro Plus or the equivalent with Hyper-V running. DDEV has similar requirements. It can also be used on multiple operating systems, including OS X, Windows, and Linux, but it can also be used in Gitpod for cloud development. We'll cover that in another series. For DDEV system requirements, it's a little more nuanced depending on your setup. For OS X, if you're using Docker Desktop, you need to be using Mac OS Catalina, which is 10.15 or higher. If you have an older version of the Mac OS, then you can use Colima. For Windows, any recent edition of Windows Home or Windows Pro will work. You will need to be using Docker Desktop with the WSL2 backend. And on Linux, most distros and versions will work fine. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or join us in our Pantheon Slack community. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.